Hi guys, it's Pastor Ray here, coming to you, reading to you again, the Good News Daily. I am happy to be here, as always, reading in my daily devotional, Prophetic Messenger, written by highly esteemed prophets, Prophet Hubert Angel and Prophetess BB Angel. I'm so, so excited. And don't forget, if you haven't already, download your very own copy from goodnewsworld.com. I am here. Sorry about the shaking, but I'm holding the phone. I'm finding different places in my home where I can record and Sophia doesn't isn't disturbed she can still sleep but also i dropped my ipod i mean my tripod and um i have to get another one it broke and so i have to get another one probably today but um i know this week's video has been on my phone um so they've been recorded like that if you've noticed but um i'm here holding it and i'm in front of sophia's wall that i made her it's her alphabet wall her number wall is right here um on the other side but this is her number wall and um i mean her alphabet wall where she can it's her height and she can just walk up so i'm sitting on the floor actually but um and holding this phone sorry for the shakiness but that's not going to hinder us from reading the good news world good news daily or um or me receiving my word for today nothing we'll stop that um, and I also, if you're wondering, I'm also, I always wear like t-shirts and stuff because I do own a store, toystees.org. And so I'm always, um, promoting t-shirts as well as this is Prophet Hubert Angel's, Hubert Angel Foundation t-shirt. So, um, you'll see me wearing his shirts also that I wore, I think yesterday I wore, um, Rapture, Are You Rapture Ready? And then I have other ones. So, um, but definitely I wear my um, own t-shirts as well. So check them out if you're interested because we are women who pray, families that pray, children who pray. So um, check that out and grab you some for your family. But as always, let us go ahead and get started. And today's text is written, you're already there. And the text comes from 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 16. And it says, Who only hath immortality, dwelling in the light which no man can approach unto, whom no man hath seen nor can see, to whom be honor and power everlasting. Amen. The religions of the world have one thing in common. They all teach that there is something you have to do in order to get to God. Christianity is not like that. The tenets of our faith teach that it is impossible for you to get to God by your own efforts. Our scripture for today plainly tells us that no man can approach him. He lives in an unapproachable light that no man can see or has seen. God in that sense is inaccessible to man. This might sound disappointing, but for the Christian, it is the most exciting news. So excited. You see, God did something better than allowing us to approach him. He approached us. Knowing that he is in a form you cannot touch, he came in a form that you can touch in person, in the person of Jesus. We could not look at him in his real form. So he emptied himself into a human body and declared, I am the light that we could look upon. How amazing is that, man? Jesus is the extension of God's love for you. He is not preventing you from approaching that light. The only way you can approach it is from in him. The Bible says that your life is hid with Christ in God. Once you are in Christ, you are no longer approaching that unapproachable light. You are in it. I'm telling y'all, I love that because I know every day Jesus is in me. I in him. We are one. The things that I do, if I'm walking, Jesus is walking. If I'm talking, reading the good news daily, Jesus is reading it. As God emptied himself into the body and was named Jesus, Emmanuel, God is with us. Guess what? His name is Alwanza in me. His name is you, your name. That is who he is. This is the God that we serve. There is no difference. We are joint heir. So we are joint heir. We get equal. We equal, equal, equal. And it's not robbery. It's not robbery to think of the yourself equal. God decided it. We didn't decide it. We couldn't think of it to come up on our own with it. But Jesus did it. He did it. So know who you are. Identity. This is definitely part of identity. And that was something that I struggled with a lot. And I used to meet 
prophetic people and they would just I've been told many times they would just see me now I know my name coming up to me after church or whatever you don't need validation you don't need validation and I had to realize Jesus Christ is on the inside of me I don't need to be validated by whom Jesus has already validated me I am a Christian I am called his he I am wonderful I am unique I am awesome I am blessed I am one of his I am chosen and this is why I'm so grateful that this is see how this reading the good news daily it opens up your mind to the prophetic it opens up your mind to hearing God's voice like reading these every day is God's voice gets louder and louder and louder and louder and it's so plain because we are his friends he says that he we are not we are no longer servants we are his friends why are we no longer servants the scripture tells us because a servant doesn't know what his master does but we know what Jesus Christ does that's what the scripture says it says we are his friends because he tells us everything so reading the good news daily starting our day with it is so paramount and it's imperative because throughout the day you'll be able to hear him regarding you every single day and I love him. I love him for it every day. He keeps me from going in error, or walking astray, or making decisions, or sitting around doing nothing, but getting up, being busy, doing something, being productive. Because why? We are Christians, so we are not supposed to be broken. How can we lend to nations if we can't even pay our rent, or we're working paycheck to paycheck? We are in error, and I don't like it. It disgusts me. It's a bad taste in my mouth, and I can't stand it. So the least i can do is read every single day i get a scripture every single day to meditate on and to read upon if i'm busy and i might not find the time to actually open up the bible and read it but guess what if i read the good news daily i have a scripture for today i don't put it down and i'm so grateful i am so grateful for it so that brings us to our prophetic declaration y'all i'm just so in thrilled like it enlightens me it enlightens me so much so let us read this and it says a prophetic declaration i function from a place of illumination my understanding is enlightened causing me to have perfect comprehension retention and recollection i am infused with light and the life and energy of god are permeating every cell displacing sickness and disease from my physical body hallelujah and that's something to be worthy, praise, no worthy of it, of, right? God, the life and energy of God is permeating every cell. How can anything be wrong in me? One thing that I know is you might ask my spiritual parents. When I decided to follow them in June 2019, I had herpes for since 2006 to 2019. It was july 2006 that i was diagnosed or got it right and you say it's uncurable it's everything and it, it's painful it's the worst ever it's just and just deciding just looking at them and listening to the holy spirit to follow them and i followed them and my herpes left and i went to the doctor in three days i didn't even know it and I had an appointment outstanding already so I went to the doctor and I was like okay well can you do it? and it was my healthy woman's checkup so they did a, um, uh, I asked them to do I don't know if they know I asked them to do a STD panel on me and knowing you know what the records say what the books say what my medical record says oh you have herpes is like oh. those results came back negative three days after I decided to follow prophet Hubert Angel three days I had negative results. Can you imagine? I can, because my life has changed. My behind has changed. What the world says was impossible. Nothing is impossible with God. That's why I follow. That's why I stay connected. That's why I know who Jesus is. Yes, he used a man, put my sights before him, marked him, and yes, he used a man. Jesus Christ will always use somebody. And I'm grateful for that that I was able to see and recognize. Yes, it was something traumatic. It was something, I had the results, the paper, and I sent it to the prophet. Sent, never touched me then, never seen him then, just only on YouTube. 
I just made up in my mind to follow and his grace and his unction and the healing power of Jesus Christ and obedience and diligence, just doing what I'm told by the spirit. The spirit will lead you. He guides you and always, and look at the benefits when you obey and he leads you and guides you and you actually do what he tells you to do. Benefits. I wasn't even thinking about herpes. I wasn't even thinking about it, but yet I got healed from it. And I'm so, so excited because, you know, that was a long time for anybody to suffer. That is a long time. But all is well. I thank you guys for tuning in one more again. Sophia has definitely stayed asleep. And I got me, what, 10 minutes out of it. So I'm grateful. And um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Definitely, definitely give me a thumbs up. It looks good for me. It allows me to stay home with Sophia um, during this pandemic. And I'm so grateful for it. Thanks for supporting us, look, um, guys. And definitely at our ones on Adam Graham and on Instagram. And until next time, love you guys. Bye.